All right, well, I am on one of Xiaofei's bicycles. Normally, you see Xiaofei on mountains and at waterfalls, but we've taken it to the streets yeah, of yeah. Taiwan. We've taken it to the streets of Taiwan. There he is behind me. As you can see, I'm exerting more energy than he is right now. <laughs> Today's my lazy day. I think I have a low tire. My seat isn't staying on properly, but it's okay. I like challenge. One hand, one handed, flat tire, wonky seat. Do not try this at home. Here we are at a French, a very well known French breakfast shop. I introduce you to the morning. We are in Mainong, La Morning, because Xiaofei really does love Dan Bean the way he talks about Dan Bean. So if you were stranded on a desert island, you would want that to be the one food that you could have with you. I'd want some chickens with me. And chickens. Yeah, but I would not eat them. I would use the bread. Uh, so how it's actually kind of sad because I probably use the eggs, but eventually you know they don't live that long. But you know I have this relationship with them to be like, uh, you know they probably have names, right? Because I probably name my chickens Maggie, Jane, something like that. Oh, okay. But then, I mean they get old, they probably have to like butcher them eventually and not eat them. I'd be sad because I'd be eating my friends. Because you label, you gave them names. Yeah, that's that's why most farmers, you know, they won't name their livestock. What do you love about Maino? Uh, like country, like the air and the like. Lifestyle, I guess. Just like kind of quiet, open. That. Bacon, cheese, and an egg wrapped in a dumping pea. Mm, a little bit of ketchup. That is perfect. You know what I love? The first time I bumped into you, yeah. a lot of people thought that was planned. Oh, yeah? I mean, I am a believer of manifesting because I did actually make a comment before I went there, not knowing that was a spot you like to hang out at. I said to my wife, maybe I'll bump into Xiaofei today. I actually made that comment oh, really? to her. That's funny. And then I bumped into you. It was not planned. If you go to waterfalls, you're you, gonna bump into me eventually. You might bump into Xiaofei at some point. Uh, it's highly likely because- If you're in Taichung City, you might bump into Alan because he lives in Taichung, you know? So it's like- If you're in a dark, dirty bar somewhere in <laughs> Taichung, you'll probably bump into my friend Alan in Prazi. You, you'll see Alan there and uh, he'll share a brew with you. I think I might be the oldest of we're talking about, I mean, at least the, of the YouTubers that I know, I don't think any of you are in your 40s yet, right? No, not yet, Grandpa. Usually at the morning, I get the, uh, with the, G, the, G, the Jibao, like the Jitwe, or the fried chicken. I don't know what you call that, the fried chicken sandwich here. Oh yeah, so whenever I'm in a breakfast shop, there's basically two things I order. Almost always is the downbing. Uh, which can either be like a bacon and cheese or a uh, tuna and cheese, but sometimes I just mix it up to like a veggie or whatever. Right? <laughs> but the other go-to thing I'll do is a kalaji tui ham bao. I have a for kalaji tui bagel. They have the bagel bread, then jia liang ke dan. Add two eggs. The ji tui ham bao, like the chicken fried chicken leg sandwich, yeah, with two eggs on it, tastes completely different than one with one egg. And then it's amazing. It's so good. To try two eggs next time. It'll blow your mind. Okay, I'll do that, two yeah. eggs. How long have you been speaking Chinese for? Or like how long have you just studied the language? Well, like, when I first got to Taiwan, I did like a year and a half of Bushiban, like intensive Bushiban, so three hours a day. Wow, okay. And then after that, I never studied again. And so my, my current language level is basically the same as it was like seven years ago. And, and I've improved in terms of like speed of being able to like listen and identify words. Yeah. Uh, but my vocabulary is about the same. Like for me, making 365 day challenge, I have one that's, month to go. That's amazing. Originally, I wanted to do like daily videos, but then I just gave up. Well, I have a lovely wife who's okay with, with doing the subtitles. She's starting to lose her mind a little bit, but I told her we're still gonna be making the channel, but it won't be every day after that. I appreciate you taking the time, taking time out of your busy schedule. I happened to catch Xiaofei on a week when you actually just had a little bit of free time. Uh, due to the, the, the weather on the East Coast, actually, I came back. 
So I literally am seeing him by chance, and and when you you always see me by chance, that's how it works. Yeah. When's your year up? <laughs> My year is up. Excuse me. Um, about thirty four days to go. Wow. Uh, might be less when this video comes out. Wow. Um, I'm gonna cry. And then um, you'll be like, "Well, never make videos again." No, I'm gonna keep going. But actually, I want to ask you: Do you have any any ideas for a year or two for me? Do you think? I mean, obviously, I don't think I'll be doing a video a day. Explore a bit more about your like your topic of like a healthy balance. Like, what is a healthy balance? Yeah, and, and I'm still. And, and, and it might not be the same for each person. Yeah, so. and I was also gonna say, after a year of making a video a day, does I'm not gonna, sound healthy. It's not a healthy balance, but I didn't want to give up because, as my grandfather once said, Cole, when you start something, you should always finish it. So I want to finish it. it. it it's kind of funny because I, I said the opposite. I, I feel like quitting is a very good option for like a lot of things. If you could choose one thing that you would do every day for a year, do you have one thing that you the would... The Don Bing Challenge. Uh, I could do the every day for a year, not, not the no, no Don Bing for a year. Yeah. So I would never do like the one year push-up challenge. At the same time, I would really like to be doing push-ups every day. And I don't do it because I have no motivational thing. Maybe I need to like reevaluate my opinion on challenges because like if I did do that and it worked and I did do push-ups every single day for a year, I would be like stronger and more healthy. One is if you do anything every single day, you really do get better at it. And so I wanted to be better at video making. Well, I think, I think you are. I think your new videos coming out are great. I, I appreciate you saying yeah. that. Saying that to me means a lot because I, I look up to you a great deal with your videos and with your... And a great time uh, hanging out with you today. Yeah. Damn, nice chatting. And a fist bump. And yeah, if you don't know who Xiao Pei is, I'll leave a description below. Please subscribe to him. And subscribe to this guy. And with that said, I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. See you tomorrow for the next 34 days. <laughs> good night, Peace. everybody. Peace out. Good night, good morning, good afternoon. I don't know what I'm talking about. Namaste.